The following content is provided under 4D Science Group. Hi everyone, my name is Anas. I'm Cambridge student at Harriet Watt University. The easiest way to solve this type of problems is by drawing a flow diagram. So for this example, this is the circulation column. This is the feed stream. Bottom stream. Top stream. And then we're going to write down the data. We get 1000 kilomol of feed stream per minute. And the mole fraction of each stream is for for the feed we get HCl 0.75 the water in the feed stream is 0.25 and the top stream also we get 0.25 for the water, the bottom stream, we got HCl 0.9. So on the top stream, what about the HCl fraction? It's really easy this time. Just subtract that number from 1. I will get the answer. So 1 minus 0 0.95 gonna be 0 0.05. And here the same. 0 0.9 minus 1, that's gonna be 0 0.1. So now we got all the data that we can use to solve this problem. So just write down equations. So we know that the amount of feed equal to the amount of top stream and the amount of bottom stream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> F equal to T plus B. We know the amount of F, which is the amount of feed. Thousand equals to T plus B. Call this equation number one. We got here two variables. We need another equation to solve this. So just think think about it logically. The amount of each sale in the feed stream is equal to the amount of HCl in the top product plus the amount of HCl in the bottom product. So 0 0.75 times F equal to 0 0.05 times T plus 0. 0 0.9 times B. So F is known. So 750 equals to 0 0.05 T plus 0. Point oh, sorry, there is no 0 in here. So it's just 0 0.9. So 0. 9b. This is equation number two. So now we get two variables into equations. 